East Texas Giving Day on KETK and Fox 51. Welcome back, y'all. Out in Marion County, Blessings of Grace is serving food boxes to those in need. Elizabeth joins us over the phone now to tell us more about their nonprofit organization. Elizabeth, thank you so much for joining us here. Hello. <laughs> so tell me, how long has Blessings of Grace been serving East Texas? It has been serving East Texas almost 10 years now, I believe. Um, I wasn't in on the ground floor, uh, but I got pulled in pretty quick. <laughs> and um, it's just a remarkable thing. It's a faith-based organization. We have members from uh, various local churches take turns uh, serving the pantry clients, and it's, it's just a wonderful outreach for all of them. So about how many families do y'all typically serve and have you seen an increase in demand right now? Typically we serve anywhere from 100 to 140 families per month at the, at the once a month pantry. And then for the produce pantries, we see probably anywhere from three to 400 people a month. Um, it's been sort of strange because we have a lot of new people coming in, but we have a lot of our older people are staying at home. So our numbers have kind of, uh, are, haven't really increased much, but there's a lot of new people. Now, many families have lost their jobs right now. Some children don't have access to those meals provided by schools. How have you guys been able to keep your shelves stocked? Um, the backpack people that, that pack the backpacks for the kids, they kept on packing. I don't know if they're going to extend that past the end of the school year, but they still are providing the weekend meal for the kids. Um, we exist solely on donations. That's one of the reasons why we joined East Texas Giving Day, and it's amazing the outpouring that has come since the, the crisis has started. We've had a lot of donations, cash donations, not food donations. We're still having to purchase from East Texas Food Bank most of the food that we give out. But we do have partner with Walmart and uh, Kroger for the fresh produce and um, the various things they send over, and that has just been a godsend. Why do you need East Texans that can to step up and donate to your organization today? Because the stores just don't have it. And um, we're trying, <laughs> we're trying to provide what we can. Elizabeth, thank you so much for joining us and we appreciate all you do out there in Marion County.